Okay, what we're going to look at here is uh, the debug function for uh, for the templates. I can't believe I almost uh, didn't do this one because it's just such an uh, ingrained uh, function that, uh, that that's in my head that, that this is just what you use. If you're, if you're building templates, you know about this function. Uh, but if you haven't found it already, uh, then this is one of the uh, most useful functions that you're going to find as a skin designer uh, when you're working with the Smarty templates in, in Jamroom 5 and the, the function is uh, is debug so we'll have a look at it here where I've just created this uh, quick testing page which looks like uh, looks like this uh, keep that below the others there created a, a quick testing page here testing.tpl and it shows up here refresh that and there it is a bit slow because our caching's off um, and this is our page here so we've got uh, this output here output comes out on our page uh, and what we can do there uh, is uh, is add in a debug call, debug, uh, and then pull that back again, refresh it. And we get this uh, Smarty console pop up here. Uh, and inside this is all of the template variables that you can just use directly. So I've got the script name, if we put that into our template, we'll get this output here. Uh, here's an array, conf, if we put con, that uh, c-o-n-f point, uh, and then any one of these names here, point jr core base url, we'll get this output here. conf point uh, jr base directory, and we'll get the base directory. So we've got all of these uh, variables available to us uh, that we might not have known about if we didn't know that the, that the debug uh, uh, template call was was available to you so I've got uh, conf is all your system uh, configuration files mods are all the modules that are made available to you uh, JR market and all of these different things about that module uh, and then down the bottom here uh, we should have some specific stuff there we go the current URL these ones which are usually a one-to-one -one relationship a current URL here jamroom directory here jamroom URL uh, are ones that you're more likely to use in the uh, in the template uh, module there's none page title there's nothing in there module so let's just see how we, we use those I've got this one here delete that so that was a comment if you surround it with those little things it becomes a comment and uh, we'll bring this down here and refresh that so our page has actually got something on it there we go we've still got this uh, uh, popping up over and off screen but now I've got some content in there too what I what that uh, that call in the template was is a jam room call call list uh, get me give me all the pages that are in the system and they come out like this uh, they've got a structure to them uh, which is uh, is predefined by the module but if we want to change that uh, then we can add a uh, page name.tpl and we'll go and create that because we need it copy and the, the way the original one is here uh, it's under the pages template uh, item list that one there so we'll copy that one into our skin paste and we'll call it uh, we've got some page some page template copy okay so in that some page template and this thing make sure that's some page name some page template so that uh, so now this list mo list is calling this some page template tpl and it's using that for uh, uh, for the construction of, of this part here f5 refresh But because we've copied it directly, it's uh, it's using the default one. But uh, so we want to uh, we want to change that around a bit. Some page template, close the others, uh, and we can change this to however we want it to. That's the way they want it set up. But we could change it to anything, uh, anything we liked. Uh, let's ditch that part there, and just keep the images. Let's see what that happens if we hit refresh then. There we 
Okay, so we've got uh, just the images there. Now we want to know what else we can actually put in there uh, because we've got control of this page. Here's where debug comes into it. Uh, in that that top level testing, putting the debug in here it is putting it in at this level. In this template, what have we got available to us? But we don't want to know that right now. What we want to know is what have we got available to us in this template, which is different because it's run through the core list. So we're going through core list, getting all of the pages and outputting all the page information into some page template. And in some page template, the first thing we we're going to want to know is what have we got to work with. So here's where debug comes in really, really handy. Throw debug in there, pull our page up, refresh. And when that comes back, we've got this, another template, Smarty Debug Console pop-up. Uh, and in this one, we've still got the same conf that's, that's, that's the same throughout. This time we've got an items in there. And these are the, all the items that that, uh, uh, that function brought back to us. So the, the items that are coming back from that, uh, that page request uh, are, are here. Uh, the page title, the first page title, and then item number one, uh, who created it. Uh, what quota the person who created it was in, uh, what the page title is, uh, where the location, and all this other information here. So you'll see that uh, what the uh, uh, what was happening in the default one was for each of the items. Uh, that's these items here. For each of these items, it's running a loop through there. Loop through each of these items in the array, and we can see that the array has three items in it. Uh, so for each of the items, create uh, do this block of code for each of those items, and we know that because we found it in the debug, uh, the, the debug uh, debugging console, uh, and uh, it's going for each items as item. There's a, there's a cleaner way to write that than that. For each items as item, uh, that's a much better way. Uh, then we can come down here and we'll see that too for just that particular iteration of the uh, of the loop where is it uh, cancel let's put it down if we put that down below that it gets defined there so we need to put the debug down there and then we'll have this items in there as well so get that refresh that page so we can get our console back again There it is popping up now. And control here. Items, that's not the one we want. That's all of the items. Uh, item is what we want there. And there it is there. So uh, for the for this particular loop here. For each time that goes round as a loop, the, the uh, information that we've got available to use in there of just that specific particular item is here. So it's got uh, 58 different things that we could use. We could use page body, page location, page title. That's probably a good one to use. Let's start by putting that in there. Ditch that one and we'll go... Item dot page title. Okay. Refresh that. There we go. And then we've got the title coming out now. It's only using two columns, so we'll make that a bit, a bit bigger. Twelve is the full width of everything. Refresh. And now our title is going to take up uh, as much space as it needs. Uh, and perhaps we want to link that title to the uh, to the page which actually uh, which it's actually at page title URL so we could surround that if you want to see nice, nice. equals Jam room URL slash uh, item dot profile URL slash 
Ash. Page URL. I think it's a bit different than that. I think it needs the uh, needs something out, but we'll have to figure that figure out what the correct URL is so we can construct it. But for now, I've got one in there. Pull that up to there so we can see. There we go. We've got a link, in, and it's linking to uh, the site URL name slash admin slash uh, that URL. So that's how we use the the debug. Uh, uh, console the smarty debug console we use it to to construct what we need to construct here's an, uh, an array we've gone through and it uh, iterated through that array uh, to pick up the uh, uh, the contents of each of the the items and they're coming out in our items section but we've got also got other things that are available to us current URL jam room directory chairman these are the things that we know we can use in the template uh, and the way we know we can use them is because we've used that uh, debug uh, function in the template uh, to to call uh, this uh, debugging console and show us what, what uh, we've got available to us. Very very useful.